What is poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Ashton with some more Amnesia gameplay. This is part three in the series. Um, honestly, I forgot where I left off. I'm not sure. Did I, oh, I uh, I got the key to the elevator room and I got the parts. And we're gonna get the elevator up and running so that we could use the elevator and get Alexander, which is our main goal. Um, but yeah. Without further ado, let's just get right into the juice. Oh, man. If you have not seen my first two episodes, please do watch them. Otherwise, you have no idea what the hell's going on. My view is probably already did, so there's no point in saying that. So I just gotta keep it rolling, machine room. I wonder what awaits me here. A puzzle, perhaps? What's crack a lacking? Oh, the baby's crying. That's not a good sign. I'll pick up that note. Uh, there's something over there. Fifth of July. 1839. Okay. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Interesting. All right, well, what we got? Light you up. Uh, adequato presses, which equates to pressure. Now, hold up. Now, if I go to my uh, let's find a way to start. Okay, so notes. No, there's more notes. Oh yeah, I was wondering where my notes were. Uh, elevator machine instructions. Here we go. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. Meter should read up eight and down eight. So is it three, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, no. Ah, a puzzle. I see. Hold on. Let's five, six, seven, eight. It's five, three, five, six, seven, eight. And we got one, two, three. Four, five. Ah, uh, dang it! Hold up. This is gonna <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Let's start all the way up. Start all the way up. Okay, so we got. Okay. Um. Let's do. Five, six, seven. Five. Six. Six, seven. Six. God damn it. Hmm. Man, 
mean, these noises aren't necessarily the friendliest of noises. Hold up. We got three, two, that's six up there. Is that six? That ain't gonna work. Hold up. How about we do four, five, six. That won't work either. So this one has to be down. Or maybe if we just do three. Yeah, it wouldn't work. So this has to be down. So we know that. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then six. Oh man. Uh, two, four. God damn it, hold up. Four, five, six. You know what? Hold up. My golly, man. Hold up. Three, three. That's six, seven, eight. Can't move my keep my keyboard's spazzing out on me. Oh, okay. So we got five, three. That already equates. Oh my god. This is this is bull cred. Hold up. I'm gonna get something real quick. I had to do something real quick. Uh, that's, this makes no sense. What is, what is this bull crud? Hold up. I'm thinking right now. That's four. That's six. No, 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 no sense. <sighs> Hold up. What, what are the, Hold on, let's try up, down, up. About well, three ups, three downs. That wouldn't work, because that's over eight, because I'm a dumb. That's nine below, so how about... We do up, up, down, up, down, down. No? Three, six, seven. Nope, that wouldn't work either. Can I, like, leave levers out of the picture? Apparently not. Let's do three. That maybe hold on let me see if I can yeah let's do that hold on I'm reading I'm doing math two up one no that won't work switch these two Bring this one down. Bring this bad boy up. And bring it down. Does that work? Hold on. Three, six, seven, eight. 
six. No. Oh, fuck, dude. That doesn't even work. God damn it. Hold up. Down one. Hold up. Is there, first off, is there a tinderbox right here? No. Okay. What about over here? Of course there's tinderboxes. Save me from my horror. Jesus H. Christ. Three, six, seven, eight. Can I leave this one neutral? Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, with the top. Oh, my. Mm. I am going to kill myself. Got two. Hold up. Let's bring that one up. Bring this one back down. So this is what I had it originally. Bottom doesn't work. Hold up. Maybe this one down. And that one up. Don't hold up. Let's try this. Down, down, up. Maybe bring this one up. No? Down, down, up. Down, down. Up, up, up. up. Yeah, baby, let's get it. Woohoo, let's do it. So I guess that did something. Golly, that took forever. Just trying to figure it out in my brain, and it just wasn't figuring it out. But I got it. Hold on. How would I do? Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven. Okay. It was it was right there in front of me. Good old puzzles. I'm terrible at them. Oh, what's over here? Nothing? Alright, well. Guess we're moving on. What's in here? Skabooski. Well, it's this, another note, of course. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Oh, that's, that's not good. Well, Alexander, that cheeky, cheeky bastard. He's the one that brought me here in the first place. All right, well, what we got going on over here? Another note, huh? Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage. Uh, blah blah blah. We already make sure to discard only discard the ones which are badly to keep the others in the inner study rooms. Okay, so we already got all the rods. Uh huh. Tender box. Tender box. Great joy. Anything hiding? I'm afraid something's gonna come and come after me. 
but that would be silly. It needs to be flat. OCD problems. All right. All right. So we got this is the flow. So we got circle, triangle, square, and three. Let's put that in there. Put that in there. That in there. What we do? Is that not it? So I did red, yellow, blue. How about we do yellow, blue, red? Ah, I did it. First try. I thought that was going to be another nasty puzzle that we had to do. So I guess those are in place. A cog wheel. I guess this might come useful, maybe. Nah. We don't need it. Tinder boxes? Anybody? Hello? No? And a dark room we have here. Another note. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm Ugh. falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Oh, okie dokie. I guess that's some jolly good news. Hold up, let's light you up, and let's light you up. And why the hell not I'll light you up. Okay, so, room is well lit. What is this? A lever. Nothing in the burner for it to ignite. Well, I guess that's a problem. What is this? The machinery needs more work for it. Okay. There are missing cog wheels. To oh, okay. Well, I just saw one. So I guess I know what I have to do. Um, for the burner, I'm going to put a hold on that. We're going to start with the coggy wheelies. Stop it. Boom. Found one. Jolly good show, as Pops would say. My keyboard is acting up on me. It's not making me move when I want it to. See, like, I'm frozen in place. Like, hold up. To give it a little whack, you know? Um, okay, sorry. I was running out of oil. Fully refilled. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to use my lantern. Got some hammers, some tools, you know. Chunks of coal, apparently. Tinderbox. Ooh, can I actually use... Hold up, let's try something. Let's put you in there. Okay, yeah, okay. Burner needs more coal. I got you, homie. Let's put you in. Let's put a few more lumps in there for this bad boy. Okay, full of coal. Alright, whoa! Put you in there. Okay, now let's find those two other cog wheelies. Hopefully nothing will stop me. I found was that one. Oh, well, found them. Easy as that. Well, let's save the trip. We're going to throw these bad boys down the stairs. Hold up. Huh. Grab it. There. Thank you. See where it'll fit. That one. Now let's grab you, big boy. on there. Now will it work? Be 
Beautiful. Now I'm guessing the elevator is now operational. So we shall make our descent. Whoa. Oh, before. Hopefully. Let's use up this last of the oil thing. We will save our lantern. That's creepy and disturbing. Why? Oh my god. Okay, I think I'm fine. That scared me a little. Gross. Where's all this coming from, man? Ow! Ow! Okay, I'm getting out of here. I think I'm losing my sanity by looking at all that. Oof. I blacked out, apparently. And there's more fleshy flesh. And I can't go back, too, so. Damn, that's creepy. Okay, well, I guess, are we going to go up or down? Please don't let it be down, because down is where bad things are. Here we go. I'm assuming we're going down, because we have to go down more to get Alexander. Yeah, we're going down, baby. That's my say I have a slight headache, so that's I should be good. Of course. I guess that happened. We crashed. That's a good picture right there. Let me... Oh, yes. Well, that's a bummer. Can't go back now. This way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Oh. Are we going to see some spooky ghosts? Let's get this bad boy out of the way. And you out of the way, my good sir. Maybe we can get you. Draggy, drag, drag. Can I open it? Ooh, yeah. Better use my lantern. Ooh, I am not liking this. What is going on? Cell area one. Oh my god, I'm losing my sanity. Are you kidding me? Let's go right, because the right way is always the right way. Hey, we found Ratatouille and his pals. Can I pick him up? Nope. Can I put you in the bucket? Eh, I'm too lazy. A tinderbox? Not a mind if I do. Well, someone broke out of this jail cell. Is that a tinderbox? Almost missed you. I guess we're going this way. Left or right, left or right. Well, let's go the left way for one. 
Left way is always the right way, I must say. Oh, yeah, blood. Well, what's in here? A hammer? Not a mind if I do, I guess. I guess that'll come in handy. Oh, what's in here? Some moldy bread, some oil, which I appreciate. Okay, well, there's that. Uh, what's <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm not supposed to look at that. Oh, man, now everything is just... Ugh. Can I open you? Apparently not. Oh, well. Guess we're going the other way. Oh no. Oh no. Oh there's oh there's nothing in here. Oh shite. He won't see me from here, will he? My brain isn't looking too hot, you know. Apparently he's gone. Guess we're going up. Go this way. Let's light you up. Oh my god, this is already a maze. What's in here? What is, what is this? I picked up a chipper. Where is she? Where did she go? <laughs> no. Oh, tell. I'll never tell you. You're just making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. Running half on lantern. Below half, actually. Yeah, everything seems to be coming back into focus, which I like. It's locked, however, very corroded and weak. Well, I got something. Can I combine the hammer and the chipper? Can I do this? I am a smart man. And I got oil. So, I guess that's cool. Some skulls, but I think that's it. Uh, I guess we're going to be moving this way. Oh, that scared me. Let's light you up. Mr. Monster Dude. You coming around here. Open you. Oh, don't want this. Did he see me? That dude does not sound pleasant. If he comes knocking on this door, dude, I, I think I'm screwed. Like, legit. Okay, he's... He went that way. Oh, man, I'm a brave dude. Let's go in here, maybe? Sorry, I just gotta keep checking my sanity because it feels like. Someone is coming. Hurry! I'll cover the hole with the bed. Everything will be fine. 
I promise you. There's a hole under the bed, she says. Well, guess where I'm gonna look. It's too narrow to slip through. Well, what did I write down? It was too small to fit a man. Well, can I, like, break it down, maybe? Oh, did not mean to do that. Well, cool. Um... I feel like there are places to explore here, so I'm mean, I'm gonna be a brave dude and venture forth. I'm going to see what's in these other cells. See, like, look, there's some stuff here. Let's go right. Um. I don't want to look at that. That will drain my sanity. That creature is not really a robust luck that is in good shape. Well, does, does that mean I can't? This is no use. Okay. Guess we're moving this way. We're just going to skirt down this hallway. Okay, I think that's, I think that's it. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything back there unless there was another hallway or something. So yeah, we're just gonna get right into this hole here. And we're in, baby. Can't go back up, so I guess we're just rocking it. We're just gonna go. Left or right, left or right, left or right. Right way is always the right way, I must say. What did I tell you? I actually am curious to go see what's on the other side, though. If there's anything. If my. Yep, I told you, right way is always the right way. So we're gonna go over here. Huh. Huh. Oh. Huh. Boom. All right, where are we at? Kitchen. I get. I'm. I'm hungry. Oh. Oh. Guess we're going this way. Is this the other side? Yes. Okay. Won't well, budge. Well, screw you then. Yeah, I'm hungry. Let's let's go to the kitchen. Let's light some torches on our way. You know, for safekeeping. Ah, some food. Second of August, eighteen thirty-nine. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Mühle, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Uh-oh. Did I kill somebody? Okay, well, this food doesn't seem any good. We're, today we're going to be cooking... Um... Uh... Cram. We're going to be making cram. It's a dish that I made up, and for that, we are going to need bread. We're going to need fruit. And what else are we going to need? We're going to need um, whatever the hell's in this. Um, yep, place it right there. Oh, yes. And my lantern went out, but that's fine. 
What else we got? I need, of course, tinder boxes to spice things up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna need two loaves, actually. Two loaves. Nope. Hey, 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 hey. And to finish off the recipe, we are going to need. Um, some wine. Whatever's in this. Here's something bubbling over there, so. Guess we're gonna place this neatly. Gotta be careful not to spill. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Okay, yep, we're gonna use you. Acid, huh? Of course, for our recipe, we're also going to need pig. Now, pig is the most important part of the recipe because, well, it is the bulk. So, we're just going to instantly just put this into the fire here so we can just get this slow roast going. Gonna add a little bit of spice, you know what I mean? So, we got a little bit of that and bring that back. Perfect. We also we also have to place the bread evenly on top, as shown. Oh, oh. Okay, and also we need to put this sack in here. Ow! Oh, okay, I shouldn't have done that. I okay. Um. But yeah. Okay. Is there anything else we got going on here? I don't think there's anything in this room that they need. I don't have time to cook anyways, so. No time to cook. Got other things better to do. I have no lantern. Oh boy. Oh no. Run, 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 run. Closing you. Oh boy. Hide me, pig. He's gonna eat my cram, the bastard. How dare he eat my cram? It's not finished yet. Is he gone? I don't hear him growling. Just left. Uh oh. Avoid looking at enemies for too long. It will drain your sanity. You will event. Oh. I guess I should do that. Well, okay. We're just gonna just gonna move on. I guess. No oil. Oh, I do have oil. So I guess we do have our lantern. On. Let me make sure if there's anything else I need in here. I'm pretty sure there's got to be something in here that I'm missing because every other room I picked up something. Okay, guess not. Okay. Wish me luck. We're going further. I thought there was something up there. Okay. That's where we came from. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Storage. Just light that bad boy up. Light you up. Help you. Where are you? Is this sunlight? Ah, oh, the beautiful sunlight. I don't know who needed help, but oh, cell area three. Uh, storage is over here. I guess we want to be in storage, so. Guess we're following the signs, I'm guessing. Storage, okay.
Okay, I guess he didn't see me. I think we're good. I think we're solid. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Interesting as per usual. That's a cockroach on my screen. Okay, it's just the game. Is he safe? It scared me a little bit. Well, it looks so real. Yeah, they just fade away. Can't see Jack. Alright, what's in here? Oh, you're coming in there. Soon we'll be ready. Let there be enough time. Just gonna stay in here for a little bit. He is right over here. He escaped. Where is he now? Oh, he's breaking down something. Please don't let it be here. Things are all wobbly woozy. Kinda like over here. Is that it? What is that? Broke down this door. Oh my god, I can't see because it's so. Oh my god. Well, I need that. Use it up all the way, actually. Got a tinder box. I can't even move. My mouse is like delayed and shit. Hold on. So I guess that was useful. Nothing else in this room I need. What is this? Storage? Cell area 4? Where's storage? I guess we're going in here. Lighting that bad boy up. And we're lighting. What's crack lacking? Is this a pot? Glass jar. Wonder where we're going to use that for. Oh! I didn't close you. Hey, give, give me, give me, give me, give me. Thought those were dead babies for a second. I was like, holy moly. No, they're just rats. Uh, seemed like uh, my trip here was worth the time. Boop diddy boo. Oh boy, I don't like that. Gonna come this way? How am I gonna hide in this? Back here, maybe? Is that him? I hear him. Hear tippy tippy tap, footsteps, pit pat. Alright, is he gone? Hold on. Okay, I'm assuming he left the building. Let's 
see what's in here. A lock. Of course. I don't have any. Can I use a hollow needle? Oh. That's a tinder box I can't grab. Bummer. Alright, well, let's go back, I guess. We're going back. Back to whence we came. We've already been in the kitchen. So, let's go this way. You already been here? What does that say? To cistern entrance. Hold on, what I write? What I write? What I write? Oh, no, my mental. The gate leading out of this area is locked by a worn padlock. It's fortified with a metal padlock. Well, can I breaky break? It needs to be weakened further. Okay, so I guess I gotta find a way to weaken it, I guess. I don't know. Let's go this way. Hey, you! Sorry, I just need to check. Don't come any closer. I just wanna leave. You can't go outside. It's too dangerous. I'm telling Gabriel. I doubt that very much. I'm telling Gabriel. Well, what a tattletale. What a snitch. Oh, shnikes. You're telling me this is a dead end? Well, I guess I gotta pray and hope for the best, I guess. It's not like I can run at him. Hold on. Just check what I have. My inventory's looking pretty solid right now. You gone, Mr. Monster Man. Oh no, I shouldn't look at him. Cause he don't know where I'm at. Oh boy. Nope. Okay, he's going that way. Oh fudge. Guess I'm going this way. I got a glass jar. Let's try to use the jar on something. What's that noise? Hello. Hey, anybody, help! Christ, I don't believe this. Oh, I mean, oh why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Hold on, I'm sorry, I gotta fill. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. I didn't have to go in there. I don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. Oh. Why, hello there, fellow human. He's got a booty. Can I move you? Like I can a little, but like Jesus H Christ, man, you don't look so good. Some oil. Not a mind if I do. Let's keep going this way. I don't think I've been down here. If I'm being real honest with you. A note. Fourth of August. Hey, I got three of three. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing. Lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. 
Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. At a price, huh? Okay, cool, cool. I think it saw me. I okay, should be fine. Please don't come in here. It's like every time I turn a corner, he's like right there. Not sure when he's gonna be gone. What's up, Ratatouille? He gone? He gone. What's in here? Staircase. Looks interesting. Where the kitchen's at. So, all right, we just did a full circle. So let's go back to the kitchen. I want to try out this jar. Maybe, just maybe, I could fill it with acid. And I supposedly, or I am guessing, that is going to supposedly break down the lock. So, I think. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of in my head. Like. Couscous is looking pretty fire. I'm just gonna hide behind this, my pig. Porky was his name. He's gone, baby. Yeah, you go that way. I'm not in here. Phil. I'm surprised the acid isn't like burning through the jar, but like, it's I. Not gonna look at you, but I'm gonna look at you at the same time. going the way I'm going. I'm going to follow him. Because that's the way I need to go too, you know? Maybe yeah, he's gone just like that. We're just going to run to it. We're just going to make a break. Kitchen. What is it? This way? Uh, no, we already been down there. She deserved it, that little bitch. Oh, that's not nice. Is it? Yeah, it's probably just right here. It's in a very poor. Wait. Can I like? Oh, okay. So that's the one that needs to be weakened further. Can I? Do this one over here? Maybe? Or is that just to go back over there? Oh yeah, that's... That's where it is, and that will budge. So... Okay, so I guess... We go... Do this. Will it work? Perfect. Now we use this bad boy. Oh boy, he sees me. All right. Let's go to the cistern. I don't know if this is a good stopping point. Maybe. Am I still being chased? Like. 
Ooh. So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the dank tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Well, guys, I feel like this is a great stopping point. We made it out of the whole prison thing, so I feel like I'm going to be making episode two here pretty quick. So we're going to have a two-episode daily special coming up. Um, but, yeah. Um, other than that, guys, hopefully all of you have enjoyed this one. We had some good scares in here. Had to hide a few times. Um, but, yeah. Um, hopefully all, again, hopefully all enjoyed If you made it this far, um, you guys are absolute beasts. Um, and, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. So, bye-bye.